so recently I've been having some trouble with the uh, with my 4HF, the uh, Gerard turntable, <coughs> um, where it was not tracking uh, properly at uh, 5 grams, over 5 grams sometimes. So I had a, uh, the Stanton 500, the Mark III in there, uh, inside this other head shell, another 500, I'm waiting for a 78 stylus for that one. Um, but uh, it wasn't until I actually had a look at the platform that it was sitting on that I realized how badly uh, out of whack it was. So um, now that that's been fixed, um, I've managed to crack the uh, the weight down that's adjusted by this little thumb screw here, down to about two and a half grams. I've got the uh, stylus pressure gauge here, a little nifty little thing. I think I've still got it set on... Uh, so at the moment it's set on uh, what, it's two and a half grams, so uh, like that. I'll just uh, take this record off real quick. Pop that down there like that, and uh, where are we? Pretty much uh, with that. It's pretty much exactly. Uh, exactly two and a half grams so that's a lot better for the records and the stylus and everything as well so put that back in the little box there so it sounds uh, sounds great now with the uh, that's the uh, Donald Fagan the Nightfly fantastic album to out yeah, your system as well it's sounds great Sorry, I'm probably shaking the camera around like anything, but uh, with the 4HF, you uh, just snap the arm to the right to start the motor. Where are we? So happily tracking at uh, about two and a half grams, which is uh, spot on. I think uh, I've got an uh, M97 in there, and it's two and a half as well, which is the upper limit with the brush down. Sounds great.